Previously on the Quest Company. Cole pulls the axe just right out of his belt loop. Red hounds, do what you do. The orc woman kneels down and cradles Frank's skull yeah. like a fucking scene from Hamlet. Yeah. It's just <laughs> weeping at her dead friend oh and is God. looking back to Cole with a face that says, Why? <laughs> Why did you do it? Frank, you, you come back to consciousness in the hands and bosom of a sobbing orcish woman who's like, I love the new you. Still playing Even different. though you are different, I love new you. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to tell him to show me Mateo, and I'm ganking him into the room. I'm going to use him as a shield. And he's going to walk me to Mateo. Natural 20! Damn it. Oh, oh shit! Oh, comes to life at one with an arrow in his oh, neck. Just God. like... <laughs> you just feel vines start to wrap around your legs. Oh, And up your body. Shit! You are currently entangled, Rourke. Oh, shit. The okay. very wood of the bar has turned into vines. Now, oh. I've been trying to be cordial with you all, but you've heard a lot of my friends. Now I can end this boy's life right now, or I can let him walk back out the way he came. On accounts, you all walk out the same way and leave everybody in here the way they were. That's my terms. How much? How much you mean? How much are they paying you? You want to talk about business now, with people bleeding out on the floor. How you feeling about this boy? He looks down at Rourke. Well... Considering this, uh, situation, yeah, we could do worse than that. All right. He offers a hand to help you up, Rourke. I'll take it. Take it. He helps you up. He's like, I hope no hard feelings between us. Oh, do you have a card, by the way? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. What do y'all call yourself, so? The Quest Company. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a name. <laughs> you know, it's weird. It's weird, Cole. It's almost like we've gone 50 plus episodes and we still haven't come up with like a solid. I was actually thought the group name for you guys was really cool. I've never seen a group be named. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll head north and next time we see each other, you can tell me what the hell y'all are called. And we're back. Guys. We're so excited. Oh, God. So start it's... over. Start <laughs> over. No, no, I will not let you, no. I will I not let you talk Please about no. a sponsor it, like this. Please, no, soy. You know, what? No. you know why we're keeping it? Because she's doing a diet where she can't eat soy. Thank so you. this is her way to let it out. Okay, I'll redo it. Give me a beat. Fine. Guys, we're so excited because we got a sponsor Yay-oh! from Castor and Pollux. And I... Is that wrong? That sounds it was right. pretty close. Well, I mean, yeah. now that you've doubted yourself, let's take it back since we <laughs> yeah. want to sound like we know who our sponsor is. Oh, you guys didn't know I feel like we, this is, but like, this is who we are. And they, they should that. know. They should know. They, they, they made a noise. I was like, oh, it's wrong. Castor and Pollux. Castor and Pollux. Okay. You just put like okay. a space between Paul and Lux. Okay, so it was like Paul give Lux. <laughs> guys, Cameron. we're so. <laughs> Cameron and Polly. Cameron, Cameron <laughs> and oh my Polly. Gosh. Guys, we're so excited because we got our first sponsor from Castor and Pollux. Yeah! Hey, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> use our discount code, the Quest Cub. All one word. Uh, don't. What? <laughs> what? It's all. No, no caps, no spaces. Wait, what did you say? The Quest Company. The Quest Co. Uh, is the code. The Quest Co. We, yep, there's the code. <laughs> Can we. Okay, I gotcha. I thought I heard I something know, else. I thought Me I too, right? Joe. Okay, gotcha. What did you hear? You literally said the Quest Cub. You said the Quest Cub. Because I, I could play I was it thinking, back. No, if you I mean. was thinking Co, and then I was like, oh, wait, I think it's Co. Can this just be the whole. <laughs> Thing. Like just leave it. Yeah, cool. Good. I, I like it. I'm happy. Okay. This is the first time that we've gotten to record yeah. since we started partnering. And with you them. guys, yeah. I got some really cute purpley glitter dice that is called the Grape Escape. Escape. <laughs> grape Escape. And it's so cute, and it's got glitter uh-huh. in it, and it's purple. And Sarah got some called the Grapefruit. Nope, not not even. <laughs> don't even look like grapefruit. <laughs> Called. Rustic amulet. The rustic amulet. <laughs> nice. With these? They're very yeah, earthy. They're like, yeah, they're like girthy. From a distance of the earthy. Not I wow. swear to West Tom and girthy. girthy. Wow. <laughs> but it's orange and blue. Yeah, anyway, so if you love us. Florida. Gators. Like we love Nah, that's not. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> 
Sorry, Florida fans. <laughs> I've got dice that are literally Rourke's color scheme oh, called yeah, Infernal yeah. Flame, and they're really great. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for listening. We love each and every one of you. And if you... Personally, will, individually, yep. wholly, wholly, holistically loving. Tess, I love you. That's my sister. Hi, Tess. Anyway. Hey, Tess. If you want to support us, shop at Castor and Pollux for some really cute glitter dice at... Castpollux.com. Yes. yes. And use the code The Quest Company for 15% off your entire purchase. The Quest Co. Just the Quest Co. <laughs> and if you buy more stuff, that means we can give away more stuff. Yeah. So... Use our code The Quest Co. for 15% off your entire purchase. Again, the code is The Quest Co. For 15% off your entire purchase. For 15% off your entire, your entire purchase. So should we play nice. Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> let's do it. I, I have this really funny bit about being super girly oh about my the glitter dice. Great. It's just like good come out. It's okay. That's why I don't have a career. <laughs> it was oh. <laughs> so um I don't know how to do love you. The Red Hounds have just left Please. the wharf. The door still ajar. When suddenly you see a, a blink just into the room, You've got to be kidding you me. see one of the dogs, a small pouch in its mouth as it runs out the door. What? What, what, what the fuck was that? Our what, pouch? I check, I check myself. Is my what's you left of my pouch? Thing. All of your things. I, I check, check, I check my, my things. Pouch. I think I check my things. All of you have all of your things on you. Fuck, thank God. Do I have all of my money? You have what little you had. Yeah, okay. He didn't take anything. Nope. Can we see what that pouch looked like from that dog? What? Uh, it was very fast. Make a perception check. Okay. Work. That's a little creepy, guys. Nice it's cock. Nice cock. Nice cock. Can I assist? No. Next one. Woo! That's funny. Wow, wow, thank God. Uh, it looked like an old beat up leather pouch. Was it big or small? Or... It jingled slightly as it was being carried away. Jingled slightly. Money. Metallic. Slightly. Okay. But how? But how big was it? Just like. <laughs> just a little pouch. Just a little. All right. Little thing. <clears throat> I don't like that. But I go and I close the door. Okay, you do. And turn to uh, our friend who's tied up and say, well, guess it's time to get to business. And I go and start getting a chair to uh, set him in. Correct. I would love to get to business. Uh, personally, I am very excited about the new business with you fine folk. Um, but... I would like to punch him, but not hurt him. Okay. Good call. You do. Straight up sucker punch in the nose. Punch him. You're gonna hurt him if you do that. Okay, I'm gonna punch him. What's your him. strength modifier? Oh god, he's oh, gonna one. die. And he takes one point of damage. Uh, his nose just leaves. Ah! Ja, n- uh, you sound kind of fucking pompous. Oh god, he's one of those. Uh, I slap uh, him across the face. God. Okay, do another one point of damage. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe don't kill him. Don't, uh, don't kill him. I just would like to speak to you have in, in charge of this uh, fine group of mercenaries that have Backhand now... Backhand them across the face. Right, okay, me. okay. It's it's and I like, there's I'm another like, okay, one point enough, of damage. <laughs> we, we all work as, as a team, collectively, together. Uh, but you must have a leader, correct? I will strangle you. What do you want? This, you are terrifying, my yeah. fine construct. Who has summoned the skeleton man in this group? Oh, he summoned himself. He's scary as fuck. We're all skeletons. All right, can I roll a, can <laughs> on I, the inside? Can I roll to intimidate this motherfucker? Make an intimidation check. Okay. With advantage, because he's just had the hell beat out of him. Oh, um, unnatural 20. Good job. Okay. Let's keep that up today, team. You, you are quite terrifying, my good man. Uh, you must obviously be in charge of this fine group. No, no. I would like to speak to you, Zin. Uh, what makes you speak? Think- B- speak. Uh, because I am a free man and I have the ability to speak, and I would like to speak to the one in charge, which is obviously the same. I'm going to hold her back and say, Speak while you have a tongue. I, sucker, what's that move? I she will elbow, elbow Rourke. If he's trying to hold me, I'm going to elbow him. He will rip off your pubes. <laughs> Make an attack roll. Well, actually, not really an attack roll. Uh, this was a grapple check. So, Tabitha, you can use athletics or acrobatics. Rourke, you have to use athletics. Nice. That's cock, sucker. Nice <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Bubba. Uh, 11. <laughs> I'm going to use my Castor and Pollux sparkly grapefruit. I forgot his name. Nice. The grape escape? <laughs> the grapefruit. You got a thing for grapefruit. I don't, don't let me down. The grape of wrath died. Oh, that, booyah! That's a natural 20. They're good gonna, company. She kills Rory. <laughs> she does a I slight elbow you. back oh, yeah. and gets free and punches Mateo again in the face. Yeah. Another one point of damage as he's just... Uh, 
Could you please get this barbarian away from me? It is no, very uncomfortable having my face punched multiple why times. You, why are you punching him? It's going to do severe skin. damage to my skin, and I do not want this to happen to me, please. Are you worried about your skin? And I just wanted to pull yes. dagger out. Yes, you should be too. Tabitha? Take care of yourself. Tabitha? Uh, I'm talking to your boss also. Uh, and his skin well, is... You heard the man, Tabitha. No. Go, go to the other room. <laughs> Tabitha, I'm just going to you... stand very still and ground myself. Can you make sure that the cellar door is locked so those fucks don't come back around here no, and try why to do bust I back have in? To leave? Because you're good with locks. Zara could do it. Zara, you do it. What do you want me to do? I locked the door. Fine. The front door is locked. The door to the cellar that was a very complicated lock that they probably set it before a we got very here. Very complicated lock. Can you shut up, please? Okay, I'll, could you not no, do I'll that? try to do that. Uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I want to roll to intimidate this motherfucker again. Okay. Do it. He's terrified of you already. Uh, 16. <laughs> you are again a very terrifying <laughs> human being. Uh, skeleton or whatever skeleton man you are. <laughs> he just kind of raises his tied hands like... Who's closing the door? I'm going to go close the door and then I'm coming back. Okay. Do I have to... Uh, do you want me to like lock it? Lock yeah, it? Lock, okay. lock, l- locking it down here. Yeah, this is our house now. We're Goodbye. in for the night. Go fetch. Go lock the door. Shh. Uh, I, sh- I keep shushing him. <laughs> I want to have a conversation with you, Mr. Bosman. <clears throat> Talk. Ah, thank you. I am aware that you just paid a grand sum of money to uh, acquire me, yes, and I have well. no doubt that uh, I am probably not going to do too well in this group of people. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am ah. very aware of this. Uh, so I would like to offer you a greater sum of money than they were going to be paid. And perhaps we can strike a bargain. Mm. Why are you looking around? You are in charge, I'm, correct? I'm not. No, no. Uh, Keep talking. Just just go ahead. I would need to have my hands opened. No, free. no. As in, I cannot make too many bargains with you. And I cannot listen to your little speech. It's very speech. uncomfortable on the floor right it's here. Very My back is hurting. I've sat, him in a, I've sat him in a chair. My back is, is hurting in this chair. It's a very uncomfortable chair. It's yeah. nothing yeah. padded. It is a wooden yeah, chair. Uh, perhaps, uh, Mine would hurt too. perhaps if you could find a cushion for me, a pillow. My, that would be nice. My ears are aching. You do not have ears. Oh, that's how bad they're aching. But you have beautiful bone structure. Oh, thank you. Is Tab the back yet? I like this guy. I you're just going just to like, like and just like close the hatch and lock it. Yeah. Yeah. As you make your way over to the hatch, you go to close it and you see the splattered skull remains of Harv down mm. below. As you close them, yeah. Proceed to lock it. Okay, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stand. Um. Well, next mm, is our. You do not have the key, and you cannot reverse lock pick something to be locked. Do I have anything it's in my... It's not like a deadbolt. Do I have anything in my thieves tools kit that I could, like, tripwire it so if anybody opened it, <clears throat> like, I would know? Or, like, can I just jam something in it so they can't open it? Make a general investigation check. 17? With some jerry-rigging, you find one of the boxes that looks big enough and just roll it over on top of it. Okay. At enough of an angle that if somebody came through it, it would make a... Loud, loud enough noise that okay, it should cool. alert and then I'm anyone. Understand by Zara. Okay, you make your way back into the room. Ah, the the other one has returned, and I am still not free. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting free, bud. Okay, well that He's is right. nice of you. Okay, perfect. Would you like me to gag him? No, we got questions for him. Yeah. We'll gag him later. Gosh, okay. I would like to go sit by the bar and just kind of like tend to my own wounds and okay. like you know just have some me time. And anyone's welcome to have me time by the bar because this guy's rough even on Zara. <laughs> okay. He's a great guy. <clears throat> He's good. He's good. Okay. Sitting, observing. You can sit and observe. Is there uh, anything you'd like to do? Maybe doing some yoga just to shake off what just happened. Can we go Probably, in? honestly, too, taking off a little bit of the armor just to, like, stretch breathe. out. Yeah, breathe and stretch out. How much armor are you taking off? Not a ton. Like the like the shoulder pieces. Shoulder pads. Tabitha, I, I don't know how armor works, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But Shoulders. anyway, just for flavor. You're, yes, for flavor. Tabby's going to sit next to her, but just, like, dead gaze. Sarah, okay. is anything seemingly... you would like to do? No. no I'm just curious. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Okay. I'm scared of it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, he's currently just sitting in the chair, looking at Frank. Your offer. What is your offer? We can still hear, though, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, yeah. You are yeah. well within the hearing range. 
Um, my offer is uh, negotiable. I would like to discuss what you are, are looking for. Perhaps I can acquire it. Uh, power, friends, contacts, uh, money. Wait, 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 wait. This is Mateo, right? Your family's dead, right? Yes. What power do you have again? Oh, I have deep contacts in uh, Aldernia. Um, Aldernia. So if you are ever in that country, if you ever want to leave this uh, pigsty of land and head to a more civilized place, you could uh, have contacts there and have nice uh, setups there and potential friends and allies that hey. could acquire uh, years. Have you been to Aldernia? Uh, of course, many, many times I've what been to Aldernia. What do you think Aldernia. about him? And I point, point to Rourke. The fellow is a blue tiefling a demon boy. It's uh, nice of him to be here. I do not understand the question. Interesting. And I just turned back. Is he yeah. being truthful as far as I can yeah, tell? Yeah, I want to see if he actually would maybe know, because you're supposedly well-known in Aldernia, you right? You can both make Rourke? inside checks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Good call, Sarah Bear. That's on the that's corner. 16? Okay. okay. Is it? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, uh, 16. Cool. Ooh. You both get the sense that he uh, is not wanting to make enemies at this point. Okay. Despite his best efforts. Okay. And there is probably some form of recognition in his eyes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just, I just like, take out one of my uh, daggers and just start playing with it. I'm like, I'm going to need you to tell me what you actually know what? if you want to build up any sort of uh, amount of trust here. Uh, you can take yours pretty, out. Pretty I can't please. take mine out. Oh, you can take yours out. You, you can play with them. You just can't stab the man. Yes, you cannot stab me. That would be very bad. Well, I mean, you can't. Throw it. Just, is, yeah. he in a, is he sitting with his legs open? Uh, he's. Are they sure? They're tied together. Okay, they're so. going at his feet. I'm throwing a dagger at his feet. Um, can I before make an attack she looks, roll? Can I try to like get in the way of the dagger being thrown? Like oh. jump in front? No, don't do that. In a second. I'm so scared for okay. you. I gotta see what this roll is. What is it? Just making a general attack roll with a knife. Twenty. I'm jumping in front of it. Frank. Uh, you know with her skill that it will probably hit right at his feet. It will not hit him. Okay. If I that, um, I'm yeah, good. I'm not going for him. I'm going you for can the jump in front of it and if you still effect. want yeah. to. No, I, th- I, th- I thought it was going like to hit him. No, no. I'm fine. No, no, I'm, no, I'm fine. just going I'm for fine. the feet. I'm the wood. Just... <laughs> in front of me, he's like, "Is it not cutting any of the ropes? I need, I need to my feet untied." Your his, his voice missed. is really driving me up a fuck's wall. Really great, I wish I was more patient. It's like, I'm losing. I'm losing. Frank, oh. do you want me to take his tongue out? Because I'd happily do so. But we need him to talk, even it's, though it's, it's very it's, true. It's, it's, you you need me. You this. need me to talk. It's just it's, it's, it's just awful. It's just uh, awful. The more I hear it, like I thought it was okay with it at first. Uh, you have a beautiful voice, my friend. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> no, it really is something about it. <laughs> something about yeah, it. I don't know. I can take it out. It's just been the day we've had. You know, I think it's been the day. I don't know about y'all, but I need to sleep. Yeah, I do like, too. Real deal. I'm in a lot of pain. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> do y'all? Um, and my spell slots are down, so. Yeah, I think I, I would. I could use a night's rest. You know what's funny? I'm perfectly fine. Oh, good. So Who I'll cute. stay up with him. You guys go to sleep. That's great. Uh, can we sleep? I would shit prefer the, the uh, one that has hit me multiple times is not my guard. Oh no, she's your best guardian, and I um. It wish I not... had my wings out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait, what? I said, oh, how I wish I had my wings uh, out. Uh, uh, she has does not seem like a guardian. Uh, she has hit me multiple times. I'm going to look the more you talk, at just... Rourke really, really deeply and say, no, I'll stay with him. You guys go to sleep. Uh, before, I love this plan. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do not love this plan. I am going to just, just make a good case concern. around God. everything that I can look at. Make sure there's no good extra call. doors, extra windows. I know the windows are boarded up, but I still want to make an investigation check. Yeah, I want to check out that room like where the druid was. and all Make an investigation check. Oh, she left. No, she left. Fifteen. Fifteen? Eleven? Eleven. You both make your way around, just kind of looking at it. Frank and Tabitha continuing to be trained on Mateo, who's mm-hmm. just kind of... I, I want to, like, try to get things from him. Like, pickpocket him. Oh, okay. To check his pockets <gasps> and shit. You can go ahead and roll Please that. I'm going to get to what they get to. Tabitha, you watch Frank pickpocket him. He's like, oh, oh, oh you're she trying to can. grab me in the special areas? My phone? Yes, because yes. it's a cute attempt. <laughs> um, what did you roll? I like a 10. I'm not trying to be stealthy about it. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, he, yeah, he's tied up. He can do nothing. Uh, he has nothing in his pockets. The armor that's on him seems pretty shit. Mm. I'll come back to you in a second. Okay. Looking around, uh, you two, you don't find much 
of anything like there are no other entrances into mm-hmm. it. Uh, this far room that the druid uh, was in, as well as the blink dogs, mm-hmm. uh, appears to be uh, sort of a stage area. Mm-hmm. It's just a small area, perhaps, that uh, bards might perform in, mm-hmm. something like that. There's a small backstage. Hardly anything. It appears to be like you would bring your own things. Yeah. Got it. Okay, great. Um, Not like Harv's office or anything through there? No. Okay. There is no office. Got it. His office, you can probably guess, is at a home. Got it. Or somewhere else. This is not a uh, inn. It is just a bar. Cool. Um, so there are no beds. Uh, you can see makeshift beds in this room. Uh-huh. But it's like where bed rolls were. Got it. Right? This was being used as a spot by the Red Hounds. Mm-hmm. And you can gather that much information. But you find no other entrances into the bar. All the windows seem boarded pretty well. Joe. Yes. Make an insight check for me, just real fast. Uh, come on. Gary needs a new pair of shoes. And you're you? smart. Uh, 13 for 15. Ooh. You get the sense from his person, lack of calloused hands, lack of okay, uh, lots of other things, and just what you've already heard of his voice and having your long conversation with Cole. Yeah. Cole probably put him in a faraway room. And stop dealing with him after a while. (laughs) You get a sense that it's, I had a job, and you guys came along, and it was like, oh, thank God. (laughs) Gotcha. As you were pickpocketing him, and he's like, oh, yes. (laughs) There's something in my back pocket. I reach in his back pocket. It's just butt. Like, there's nothing back there. Like, And you just reach in his back pocket. You You don't have much of an ass on you. It is, <laughs> yeah, it is a, it's a very uh, small, but uh, it can do many things. My grasp, miss having my grasp on letting you not murder this guy is, I feel it slipping. Yeah. Uh, but is, you should not murder me. Why would you pay so much money to then kill me? It does not make much sense. I get a cloth. After I'm inspecting the room, okay. I walk up behind my tail and I start to gag him. Okay. Thanks. This is like, I, 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 tighter, uh, tighter. Uh, oh, I really want it to be good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Tight. I mean, you can just tie a gag on him. You don't have to roll for okay, anything. Okay, great. It's on there. Everybody, I'm going to go to sleep. Where do you think the best spot is for me to sleep while you watch? <laughs> Not downstairs. Not yet. Well, but There's, do you think yeah. I should sleep on top of the trap door so that if someone were to come up here, I'm going to wake up? That's fine. I just, you probably don't want to go down well, where there's... Rick peed himself because he was scared. And I just look... Harv's skull is everywhere. I just want to look deep and like voidless and be like, remember that time we spent hours and hours in a pit that a troll had devoured human bodies and bones? Night, everybody! And I start oh, to walk to the trap job. door. <laughs> and just, I'm going to sleep on top of the trap door. Long rest, correct? Yeah. Okay, you are currently... Oh, and I do want to say, if anyone, if you need me to take another watch, yeah, just yeah. tap me, okay? Yeah. No, cool. we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And we can it. talk in the morning, guys. Good job. And, and I just pat Rourke on the shoulder. I'm like, I'm really glad you're okay. Thank you. I mean that. Okay, and then... Sweet. Yep. Frank, are you sleeping too? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Frank, Frank, sta- Frank stands there and says, I'm going to sl- sleep right here. And he just stares right at my <laughs> He just stares right at my face. I love that he has that asleep. power. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> I, I grab Rourke's uh-huh. hand really tenderly. Uh-huh. And I look at Rourke and I say, look, you didn't trust me in the fight. But I need you to trust me tonight. All right. <laughs> I can't <laughs> That was very and tender. And they bone in front of Mateo. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can trust me. <laughs> My dreams have come true. Me. I love watching this blue man and this red-headed woman. Oh, Ew. Oh. Guys, uh, God, that was so intimate. I start going he's to still the uh, it. the like stage area, of that oh, room where the druid was, and I like go. take Frank's skull off and bring it with me. Like, come on, Frank. Getting Frank oh, Castle up in here. Can I sense him taking my skull off my body? No. Oh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Stop! What are you doing? What are but you doing? Come with Let me. Let me be with my body. Let me be with my body. Let me be with my All body. All right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't take it far. I, I plop it back on. I'm like, right. I just knew it would wake you up. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. That's the cuddles. And we'll go in there. And I want to have a conversation with Frank in that room before we oh, go to sleep. Oh. Okay. Tabitha, what are you doing? They have just walked away. The room's empty. It's just you and Gagged Mateo. 
I love Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm <laughs> gonna... very bonded right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm going to take... Stuck in the middle with you by Steeler's wheel start playing? <laughs> no, I... but it's hip to be Square's about to start playing. <laughs> I want to grab the sides of him and be very close in his face. And I'm going to look at him. I'm going to take these off. And we're going to talk. What are you taking off? Sorry. Like, I'm taking them off. Yeah, I'm just holding the gag. The gag. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. If you say anything mm-hmm. I don't like, if you're a prick or mm-hmm. anything else... Oh no! I'm gonna take a tooth, <laughs> and then another, and then another, and then another, and I'm gonna lower him. Okay, you lower the gag. He's very quiet. Okay, make an intimidation check. Oh come on, come on, Pete, come on, cast your blows. Oh, oh. Uh. use West Coast for next. <laughs> catchphrase to Evan's catchphrase. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Her new catchphrase. Anytime she kills the eight. All right. Mm. He's also very intimidated from Frank earlier. So. Mm. It's okay. Don't but, baby it. It's okay. Bad roll. I know where we're starting. I don't know if I want to use you again. But you are dealing with Mateo, correct? Yeah. Frank and Rourke. Your combo. All right. So, game plan for the morning. Yes. So, we'll have somebody stay with Mateo through the night. Yes. Once morning rolls around... um, like, I know that took a lot of money to uh, get him and also for me to not fucking die. And, uh, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I... It's kind of hard to take this seriously when my body's being juggled by him. Um... <laughs> Sarah's just making uh, the no, and Frank they're Mace close. Make it's an they're intimate, not, they're, 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 they're intimate like con- No, they're they're not yet. What I was waiting to hear what you would say. This this did you pause for a kiss? That's not a good reflection of how. Okay, okay, start over again. Are you, gonna, you guys are, you are always touchling all over each other. <laughs> I'm just saying it's just an intimate touching. episode already, <laughs> and you paused for the kid. You just intimate. <laughs> he just he just <laughs> gave <laughs> so much money to save your <laughs> life. So I think you could have kissed. <laughs> okay, um, if this is gonna distract okay, you guys, okay. I won't be truthful to the moment, but <laughs> but we're being <laughs> truthful now. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Um, yes. Yes. Are you gonna keep <laughs> doing it? <laughs> But now Tabitha and Zara are kissing. <laughs> now we're voting. Like, now they're yeah, voting. Definitely voting. Okay, oh, Zara. Okay. That yes. was just for me. Sorry. That was for me. <laughs> Canon. <laughs> Upon this night. This is the best night of my life. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I appreciate it. I know that that was a lot for you. And, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of uh, how we can make that up already. Um, if I don't he's, know. If, he, if all his family's dead, that means his. Family's house is probably empty, right? Yeah, and I doubt there's any money involved with that man, besides using him as a pawn. Well, I'm thinking, if we wait until the morning, Zara gets spells back, you get spells back, maybe we can uh, get some assurance that this guy's going to be truthful with us if we ask him questions. I got a charm person spell. I'm going to use that. Yeah. That or, that or zone of truth, either one. That would zone of truth work a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, I like that. By the way, whatever, whatever we figure out, whatever you guys have got in the morning, if we have some way that we can uh, assure a little bit of truthfulness, maybe we can figure out, I don't know, if the Florentines, when they killed all his people, if they also took all their shit, or if there's still shit to be found. That's a question we can ask them. But that might be a way for us to uh, recoup some business expenses. Yeah. If we combine if we combine freaking Charm Person and Zone of Truth, that might help a little bit. Since if, he, if he's, like, in, inclined to yeah. respond truthfully and the zone of truth. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I guess it's something we can try. So, I'm just brainstorming, but I figure... Good brainstorm. We can have a, a little chat in the morning. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, uh, Zara and I can uh, go speak with Florentine. We can leave you two uh, here with Mateo. Hold down the fort. Yeah, perhaps, uh, I don't know, We uh, if we get to talk to him and decide on a meeting maybe we can make the Vicente house our meeting place I'm sure that the Florentines have probably still got it scoped out in case that little shit comes back Mm -hmm. but once we have some more information from him maybe we can use that to our advantage and figure out how we can uh, make lemonade what was that what was that last part I liked it what was that last part because we got a fucking lemon because we had to pay a shitload of money to get here lemons okay gotcha um, never had lemonade. Really? Anyway, yeah, no, good, good deal, good deal. Um, yeah, I need to sleep. 
yeah. until in the morning. Yeah. We'll start the sound. Yeah, but Frank. Uh, yes. Uh, this, this and everything else. I. Uh, mm-hmm. If I die. Yes. And I have not finished my business. With your mom. With the whole fucking pirate thing. Okay. If I have not concluded my business and uh, it's not possible for whatever reason for Zara to bring me back for uh, through more savory means. Yes. I want you to bring me back, all right? I'm not the smartest and I'm not the strongest and I'm not the most clever or any of that, but I have the will to see my business done and I don't want to die doing some bullshit before I get there. So wait, if you die in the field, you want me to resurrect you? I want you to bring me back, not as a zombie, only do it if I can be me, alright? Okay. Sure, I mean... Whatever fucking means. Alright, hell, I'm a necromancer, I'm up for that kind of shit, so yeah. I know. You bet your butt. Alright. Cool. Thanks, Frank. Oh, you betcha. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep. Yeah. And he stands there. Very still. (laughs) Does his bed roll out and goes and finds a spot. They have a trundle bed. That's great. I'm just making notes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It was uh, like a makeout session. It though. really like was. At the end, like, like an emotional yeah. one. Yeah. Emotional intimacy. One. It's an intimacy, intimacy. episode. Yeah. Uh, without the intimacy. That's great for me, you guys. Keep that <laughs> oh shit God. happening. <laughs> this conversation, like two lines were good. Yeah, cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so you guys both take long rests? Yeah. Long rest, long rest. Oh, Tabitha. Missing you are the only awake. In front of him. And Dawson's somewhere. With oh, Roland. Yeah. Being happy. It's true. He's over yeah. at the swamp. No, Doing no, things. Dawson's not. Well, you left him with Roland. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. what I'm saying. Does he have shoes on? Mateo? Yes. Okay. I want to take them off. They are currently under the binds that you did around his legs. They are boots. Can I get to where if I do undo one, I can take his shoes off? Like, could I take them off without having to untie his legs? Actually... Can I untie his legs and then tie them to the chair? Sure. Speedy. He okay. could maybe try and run away when you do it. So could I take his shoes off without untying the tie? You can try. Okay, no, that's okay. I'll just take his hands instead. I want to take his hand. Did I not say that I tied him to the chair earlier? Yeah, I thought he did. I didn't hear it. Oh, I thought that I did. It's fine. Eh, it's He's okay. tied to the chair. It's fine. You I can just... then, if, if he's tied to the chair, you can... Undo his legs and tie his legs to the chair. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, no, I'm with you uh, on yes. that. Yes. I just missed it. I may have been tracking like twelve things. Sorry, Joe. Okay. Thank you. So I can't tie his legs to the chair. Yeah. Okay. You can uncut his legs and then tie them. He doesn't sh- kick or resist. I he take his shoes off. Let's it happen. Okay, you take his shoes off. Uh, you're taking my shoes. Oh, you unguided him. Didn't mm-hmm. you? I okay. did. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you easy questions. Answer how you will. Are you Mateo? I, yes, I am Mateo Vicente. Okay. We're off to a really good start. That is good. Yeah. I like to hit the ground running because I think, you know, being able to run, walk is a really beautiful thing. It is a blessing. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I guess a blessing is your family, right? Perhaps, yes. So explain to me why your family went after the Florentines. I do not know. Hmm. (laughs) See, the other funny thing about, you know, blessings and walking and running is our feet, right? Yes, it is. I want to take my dagger and I want to shove it under his toenail. (laughs) Which toe? Big toe. On the right foot. Okay, big toe, right foot. Uh, Are you... How far? Um, I'm not going to take the toenail off. Not to the point where it's off What episode is this? It recorded. I, we're like in the. We're somewhere in the mid fifties. Cool episode. Mid fifties. Not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to slip it under to the point where he's wincing, but there's no blood yet. Okay. He's he's wincing and he understands fully where you're going. So I'm gonna ask you again. Mm. Why did your family go after the Florentine kids? I would tell you an expanded, similar answer. I do not know. I am the youngest of my family, and I am not part of their decisions. I did not know until they were killing my family. Hmm. I'll just take it out. Okay, you do. Is it? Uh, okay. Thank you. So you don't know anything. 
I, I know many things, but I do not know why they chose to piss off the arguably most powerful family in the city. I don't trust you. These people don't trust me. I don't trust them half the time working on it. I do not trust anyone. I don't trust the Florentines. Ah, that is good. They are not trustworthy people. So give me a reason why we should trust you. And what would you have to offer? Uh, well, I can start by offering you, like I said earlier, contacts in another country. I don't want it. That is fair. They are good contacts. High up in the government of Ardenia. If you were perhaps I don't incarcerated, they could. Okay. I can offer you uh, money, family jewels. I was able to hide away some of my family's fortune before the Florentine assassin burned down our house to the ground. Mm-hmm. It's on the table. But uh, only I know the location, and I do not feel comfortable giving it away because you have mentioned the Florentine, which means you are no doubt thinking about taking me to the man. And if you do, I will not uh, survive, and I will probably live a few days without my balls. And I really do not want that to be my fate. Hmm. Now see, this is the tricky part. One way or the other, me or the Florentines, you're not going to see the light of day. Ah. <laughs> we my all... future is grim. Oh, yeah, it's a damn shame. Mm, it is. So, we'll put the jewels on the table. What else? Uh, I also have in that collection of jewels uh, many of the um, my family has many uh, deeds to buildings in the Blast District you could own companies, businesses uh, you could extort people if that is your type of work <coughs> you could give them to somebody that you owe money to it, is, it would be up to you once I was able to get you those wheels, but that would be an alternative for my life. Hmm. What else? Um, that is the extent of my worldly pleasure. I so, can tell you the context in Ardenia was far more than the uh, small things. I know you are not interested, but I want you to be aware that they are worth quite sums. Let's pick your brain for a minute. Perfect. I would like to have What's my What's wrong with picked. the Florentines? And why are they the most powerful and how did they get there? They have the most money. This is simple as all. How long have they been the most powerful family? Uh, since they uh, helped to overthrow the, uh, the group of mages from Ardenia that ran the city. Hmm. See, I want to believe you about the jewels. But your family killed their children. I can only think... They didn't really have a lot of money. Uh, I have a question for you. Do you know that I have brothers and sisters that are now dead? Yeah. Ah, they have killed my family as well. Well, cry me a river. I am not crying you a river or anything. I am just telling you that the same sin that you condemn me for, they have just done. Um, hmm. We're going to take his hand. We're going to do the dagger up his fingernail. Okay, point a finger on his right hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. He starts... Wincing. Push it deeper. He is like, oh! Uh, huh! <laughs> Pushing it deeper? If you push it any deeper, you're... Gonna, Getting the nail off? You're going to take the nail off and lacerate the hand. Okay. Keep it right there. Okay. Now, see, I don't like to be a fool, and I'll bargain with you, and I'll negotiate with you. I'm probably going to kill you, or the Florentines will, because I need them on my side. So if you can think of a way for me to get them on my side, maybe you happen to outsmart me, beat me up, run free. I don't know. Mm. Mm. But here's what I do know. I have two magical beings that I'm friends with. And, you know, they have this really impressive thing where they can just cure wounds of people. So what we're going to do is going to be fun. So you know as your DM. <laughs> Cure wounds does not necessarily fix maiming. I know. Yeah. Okay. It's not regenerate. Yeah. I just want to make sure. We're not cutting anything off. You do your thing. I'm well aware of cure wounds. Just wanted to make sure. So Solomon Asher gets the deeds. You are friends with Solomon. Solomon Asher gets the deeds. 
that is fine. I can gladly supply him with the deeds in the blessed district. Are there any more demands you would like to make? Hmm. Also, could you please take this dagger out of my hand? It is making it hard to focus. Oh, yeah. And on the way out, I just want to take the blade up his arm. Okay, so you just lacerate up his arm. Yeah. Not avoiding arteries. Like, I'm not trying to bleed him out, but I just want to nick him enough that it, it hurts. Okay, you do two points of damage. Dragging his hit points, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he's like, oh, Matt. Uh, yes, much better. Thank you. We get the jewels. That is fine. That is who I assumed would uh, take them. Are you sure you do not want the deeds as well? Why do you give them to Solomon? He's a petty criminal. You're not really in the position to question my judgment right I now. I apologize. I was just curious. Oh, so here's the other thing. We're going to take you to the Florentines. Is that I have a problem with, but I will continue to hear you out. I'm going to take a part of you to the Florentines. Uh, this is wonderful. Okay, mm-hmm. yes. You can choose. I get to choose the part of me you take. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can take uh, my hair, my goatee. <laughs> See, I was thinking your jewels or, I don't know, those precious toes you need to run and walk with or a finger. There's a uh, whole about decisions. Yeah. But, uh, we'll think on it. Okay, I would appreciate it. Time to think. That yeah. It's nice. We're going to send you them to the quarantine. Okay. They're going to know that it's you. Understand. Would you like me to just uh, write them a letter with information that perhaps I would only know? Yeah, we're going to do that. Perfect, in lieu of me losing pieces of my body. Right. Perfect, you are very amenable. For now. We're going to give you to the Florentines. We're going to have saved you, especially for the Florentines. All right. When we take you to the Florentines, there was an accident. Remember when we talked about overpowering me and you get away? Ah. Yeah. Damn shame. So you are saying that I would get away from you on the doorstep to the Florentines? Yeah. And then just my luck to get to the Red District? See how far you make it. Oh, that is an interesting concept that you have just proposed. I do not mind it. It's an option. Are there more options? Hmm. We take you to the Florentines. We yeah. keep you in prison. We talk with the Florentines. If for some reason... Things don't feel the way they should be going, and we need to take out the Florentines. We might need some help from inside. Ah. Well, like I have said, I have no experience in the assassination game. I was not a part of what happened to the Florentines, but I will gladly attempt to assist you in any way possible. Mm. Especially if I am able to, you know, live and keep my balls. Mm. Since we're being amiable and i want to take the white mask out what does that do for you um i know of it only by uh legend it could be fake i'm not sure what's the legend i just know that the assassins generally have that type of thing Mm. see if you cross us if we need your help it's no sweat to take your life i am absolutely certain of that fact I watched you uh, brain half. I am uh, well aware of your ability to kill. I want no part of it. Okay. We'll think about these options. See, I don't have a lot. I don't really need jewels. Solomon can get the deeds from me once you're dead. So we'll just see if I feel like this plan in the morning. That is very uh, wonderful of you. Mm. You are a beautiful soul. Very kind. <laughs> And I deeply appreciate the the love with which you have approached me and offered me this moment to be with you I would like to tip the chair alone. so that his legs are up. Okay, you do. So. Um, I'm on the floor. Yeah, see, now we're going to have fun. Oh, this is when the fun begins. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Ding, ding. <laughs> It's time for fun. Party time. <laughs> for party time. Oh, yeah. What is there? Uh, party oh, time. Man. Do you have a bell? Come on, see, we play. Now, I'm probably going to get in trouble with this with my friends. But uh, you should not get in trouble with your friends. Because of you. They seem like very nice people. I almost lost one. 
And I really, wow. really wanted to kill the other Mateo, and I didn't get to. Was that because of me or because of your group? Well, I'm annoyed with you, and I'm annoyed at a deal we made, and I need something to take it out on. So... Perhaps not me. Here's the fun. We're going to have fun. Okay. You're not going to die. Oh, perfect. You're going to hurt. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Perfect. And Frank, my boss, maybe, if he feels like it, is going to help you feel better in the morning. But tonight, you're going to sit and you're going to feel everything your family felt right before the edge. Right before the brink death. Um... This and I'm going to put the gag back on. Nuts. Oh, <laughs> I would like to take my dagger. Okay. And spread his toes apart. And I want to cut up the slits. Yep. Oh, we're going into detail. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, I've had a long time to think this about this. This is Tabitha's oh. bread and butter, folks. We've oh. waited a long time. All this to say. month and six days? <laughs> all this to say. I don't want to kill him. So I want to be aware of when he's starting to look like he's going to go. As long as you stick to paper cuts, you're you're good. If you're taking okay. anything off. We're going up the toes. Yep. We got that one. Okay. Um, and then I want to. He's just screaming in agony. Get behind can the I, Go ahead and give you that. Can I hear this agony? Uh, yeah. Everyone's sleeping. Make a perception check at disadvantage. Hmm. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Huh? At disadvantage? Yes. Oh, great. Seven. 17. Okay. Nice. That's a seven. Okay. Great. Seven here. Seven here. Rourke. You can hear it. It can wake you up, but it is muffled. It doesn't sound like death is happening in the other room, but it certainly doesn't sound fun. It's a noise <laughs> you have heard from captured sailors in your mother's quarters several times before in your life. <laughs> Not in a sexual way. In a getting information way. Pissed off at you. Very similar. I let it go for a minute. Okay. And then I will uh, get up and go open the door and just knock on the uh, knock on the wall out in front of that room and say, uh, "All right, I think it's time for my shift." Cutting behind his, is there um, a <laughs> chair that I can uh, block the door with? Well, he's already in the room. But he just said he's knocking on a door. No, like, I the opened the door and like knocked on like the door frame. Oh, okay. Like I'm here. I look at Rourke and I'm gonna cut behind his knees. Severing the tendons behind Dang his knee. Dang it! Name. Okay, can I? Can I? No, I mean you can kneecaps? do. Well, that's just as bad. I pick, mean, is it gonna pick your poison. If I do? Who knows? Mm. Make an insight check. Okay. Actually, make a medicine. Check. I was gonna say probably medicine, right? Um, that is magic right there. Ten. Ten. It won't kill him. Okay, I'm gonna cut behind his knees. Okay. Uh, I need you to roll two d fours. Ugh. Oh my gosh, he's gonna he's gonna uh, die. Dot com. No, no, she's aware. I think one, and that's weird. Two. Woo, good job. Well done. Jeez. Okay. Um, like I said. Okay. You cut both of them. You hear screams, but muffled again. Okay. Um. Um. I want to go. Just slice the thigh like a nice fillet. Okay. Wow. Was this before? Are you doing this now that I'm? Oh here? yeah, I'm watching you and I'm doing it. I'm intently watching you. I like and I'm walk over there. I'm like, all right, go to go to sleep. Keep doing it. Tabitha stares at you with silver eyes that <laughs> resemble that of a shark at this mm. point, <laughs> as she begins filleting his upper thigh. Mm. I need you to roll a d20. Oh no! And you're not adding anything. Well, you can add your medicine if I you want. Talk. Might move the TV controller. I'm going back to, <laughs> that was really I'm going weird. back to my grape dream. A grape escape. Hey, grape escape. Oh, 17. You can add your medicine. Oh, okay. 18. Keeping in mind where the femoral artery oh, okay. is, you lacerate up the thigh without major damage. Wow. Severely painful. You're doing like diagonal cuts up in. Okay. Um, like grading I flag. just gently place a hand on her shoulder and say, they don't have all of their spells back yet. I thwack it away. Okay. Not that... with the dagger. She just doesn't th- thwack it, just like puts her arm up. Are you, are you attempting to hold her back? Well, I'm just like trying this is what to I need steady to know at this her point? because I just see the bloodlust happening and I'm just trying to get her to chill out. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case... 
you move his arm? Is there something you're wanting to do again? No, she's just going to stare at him for a second. And then she's going to go for the collarbone. Okay. How does this guy look right now? I assume check. that there's a lot of blood. Uh, 12? 12. The way Tabitha is cutting him right now, it does not appear that he is in severe danger. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe? Uh, collarbone, I need you to roll a d20. Mm. Come on, great. And you can add your medicine. 18. 18. You avoid Jeez. all the uh, throat yeah. arteries yeah, and she all of this to just stuff. Hit the bone. And just roll up the dagger across the collarbone mm-hmm. with a sickly Ugh. grinding noise as mm-hmm. it just. Ugh. I'm feeling that one. Ugh. It just says you're pushing your luck if you keep going without yeah. anything to stop him from fucking bleeding. I can't touch his face because, you know, we have to take good care of our skin. And then I just want to write a little. I need to make two. Give me one second. Okay. He is unconscious at this point from pain. There is no there's no yelling at this point. He is out. He rolled a natural 20 on his first con save. Wow. Which was really unfortunate. <laughs> the times when you don't want 20s. Right. When you're being tortured. I'm done. One more thing. I just want to draw a little T down, like down his cheek. Little? Yeah. Like, nah, I mean, you just did his, his really whole big. cheek. But I just want a T right there. Okay. Next slide of hand. Great escape. Make sure he's not convulsing on the floor while you try and do this. 16. It is a perfect little T that you carve into his face. It's just going to little, 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 little tear. Just kind of fall. Single tear falls out of silver eyes. Get some rest. Hey, thanks for the trust. You're welcome. Thanks God, for not killing him. Really good. I really wanted to. I know. And you didn't. I'm going to try to patch him up a little bit, though, no, because he's no, bleeding no. He's bleeding a it's lot. And Frank and, uh, and Frank and Zara are both asleep right yeah, now. Yeah, he'll bleed. And then it's a present for Frank. He'll love it. Trust me. He'll be fine. I've done this before. You know, another time I did it, I just kind of went straight down the nose once. And that's what I was going to do. But if you don't want me to, I won't. This is a whole other level of a cat or a dog that brings a dead bird and leaves it at the front door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a How really good analogy. Is yeah. she good. Like, is it just her arms or is it like a splatter? Uh, you look like you did some surgery, okay. but like you you didn't hit any arteries, so there's no splatter. It's just kind of on your arms and your knives and stuff. Yeah, he'll be slight good. crazed look in the eye. You can you can do that later. For right now, I'll play good cop. All right. Can I do one more thing? Well, he's not going to feel it. Wait till he's awake and he can feel it. I just want to stick the heel, my heel on his crotch. How hard? Meh. Like grinding or just no, slamming just it like down? No, just like a step on it. So you're just basically kicking with the ball. Yeah. And there's no reaction, but you you do it. It's certainly not going to feel good in the morning. <sighs> I don't want Zara to see it, okay? To see what? Him. I've got to take him to Frank so he can clean him up. Okay. Are you going to go down to the basement with Zara? Um, I'm not in the basement. No, she's, or, she's no, on, sorry, she's in, on into the, the into the closet. Uh, are you going in the closet? Are with you Sarah? going in the closet? Or coming out of the closet? With Sarah? No, I'll I go sleep with Frank. All right. Bow, 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 bow. Everybody's getting a piece of Frank tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Frank stares with no eyes at the wall. If I wake him up, is it going to ruin asleep. long? Dead asleep. Yeah. If I wake him Dead up, asleep. is it going to ruin his long rest? <laughs> You haven't spent enough. Like it, you, it'll be. It would be fine to wake him up. Frank. It won't ruin his long rest. Frank. I roll a seven. I roll a seven. My perception is really young. Oh, okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> I mean, you can wake him up. If Frank. You want. What? Like, Jesus. You can shake someone. Oh, Jesus wait. Christ! What is it? You can't go right now, but I got you a present. Four. Why do I feel like that? Oh, okay. Well, I'll go, no, I'll, just go back to sleep. I'm Jesus. Tell you. I'm sleeping. Good night. Good what? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And then I'm going to go in with Zara. <laughs> you go in the bow, closet with bow, Zara. Bow. Yeah, spoony. Oh. And you guys spoon. It's canon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. she is. She's a little Brooke, spoon. you're up. Are yeah. you a little spoon? No, I'm a little Just spoon. taking oh, yeah. guard or are you I'm doing thinking. something? I'm going to clean him up a little bit. Okay. Make a medicine check, I'm assuming, is what you're saying? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, nine... Of course I'm still in it. I'm just like wrapping things just Alcohol. like to seem like they're bleeding more. 
Okay. Rum. Pour some rum on it. <laughs> I was about to say, you do. <laughs> Is he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. It's still unconscious. Okay. Yeah, I just wrapped he up. He passed out from shock. Yeah. So but I'm... his legs are elevated. Yeah, so And he's, he's got at... a rope blanket, Is so you guys right? treated it's shock right? perfectly. <laughs> Took the pressure off. Uh, I'll wait until it seems like pretty quiet in there where uh, Tabitha and Zara are. Like, I'll, I'll give it a few minutes. And then I'm going to... Um, <laughs> How close to uh, the stage room door is Mateo currently? I imagine Mateo in this space over here because we were at the bar watching him and yeah. all that. Okay, stuff. so like middle of the room. You can certainly move him. I'll... It may not be good in his current condition. Mm. All right, I'll just I'll just keep an eye on him and uh, I'll like grab a I'll like grab a mug and take it over to that room and like toss it at Frank. Frank. Oh my god, I'm trying to sleep. Do, like, you, do you have one left? <laughs> one what? what? One spell. Do you I don't have, have any, shit left. You have nothing? I have nothing. I have nothing. Unless I cast a level fucking three spell. Alright. I guess I'm gonna wrong west anyway. What's what's up? Why? Yeah, she, Why? Just, she just bled him a lot. I don't want him to fucking die in his sleep. She tortured him? Yeah, he's, he's passed out. <laughs> you, can, you can start all over it again tomorrow when you got a fresh batch of spells. That was so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. She thought she thought it'd be a nice present for you to wake up to. That's I just want to go ahead and nip this nice in the bud present. before. Yeah, uh, let me come nip things with you. All right, Ooh. Frank. As you enter, um, it's it's the aftermath of hip to be square. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just imagining like like a dad in a suburban environment coming into like a broken vase. <laughs> I mean, like, it's, like the best broken vase in the house, and it's just shitting on the on the like living room floor, just so, shattered. And then the kid's like, I'm "Sorry, Dad." And he's but just like, he really wanted to break that vase too, and the uh, kid did. Sarasi crystal yeah, it's, it's, vase it's, is it's, broken. Yeah, it's the it's the wine's vase. Yeah. He never likes. He knows he's gonna get like. Yeah. But yes, Frank. Uh, oh, oh God! Make a medicine check. Come for on. Me. Uh, I, I'm no, I'm casting it. Um, cure wounds. No, I know. Just make a medicine check for me, real fast. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, as you go over to cast cure wounds and like examining, uh, this is masterful flesh work. <laughs> like Frank is impressed. Is that the name of this episode? Masterful, masterful flesh, flesh work. Ew, <laughs> so scary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's just like he's. It hurts him a little bit more, and just like oh. Like, this is professional level. I mean, like, I can appreciate the craft, you know. Look at this gun. I mean, she just avoided the femoral art. Yeah. Just I mean, an art I mean, yeah, look at the collarbone <laughs> out there. Yeah, up yeah. the thigh is, like, uh, crescent moon cuts. It's, it's mm. like, it's like you'd think. Right? It's like cutting a ham. It's like she's been doing this every day for, like, um, um, like months, yeah. and she just got it down fucking... God damn it! <laughs> it's really impressive. <laughs> God. She's fucking scary. <laughs> Yeah, not as scary as me, though. He heals him. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll what you roll to heal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What, how many? That's, that's ten. Wait, it's ten plus your intelligence. So, so, fifteen. Most, if not all, of the wounds heal up. You see deep scars, and it's very, like, new flesh, but it's mostly healed up. The bleeding has certainly stopped. Is he conscious? No, he's still passed the fuck out. Can I give him a little smack on the face? Yeah. I'll wake up. He starts to like... But he's still gagged. Mm, wake you, up. You, you can go back to bed. His eyes are like mom. rolling around in his head. Wake up. Like, he went through set his chair back up. All the stages of shock. He mm-hmm. set his chair back up. And he's like, I get really close to his face and I say... I forgot what I was going to say. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn it. I feel like that's very in character. No, yeah, no, he says that. He looks at him like... <laughs> Shit, forgot what I was gonna say. Um, there's a, a lot more of that. More, more, more where that came from. Like he just like uh, the. Uh, can you look uh, at me? Look in your eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Focus, focus. If you don't tell us the truth, you're gonna. I, I'm not in the mood now. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so fucking tired. I'm just. It's, out of, it's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm you you out. you go back sleep. to bed. Yeah. You go back to bed. I'll I'll just get you when it's time for your actual watch. I'll I'll take a little okay. extra on the back end. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Good night. Ma'am, like two passing ships, you just keep missing no, he, he, he just stays there and still stares at him and falls asleep. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Not in the same room as Rock. 
Does Mateo seem like he's like back at all, or he's just like still super foggy? He's super foggy. Yeah, just like I just like grab his face and I point to Frank and I say, uh-huh. "Still staring." <laughs> That's your new best friend, bud. And I just pat him on the cheek and then I just go sit and I do the rest of my watch. Okay, you watch for several hours. Eventually, time comes to you to get some sleep. Yeah, who are you? I get Frank because he's right there already. Okay, Frank, you're taking the second watch. I have awoken. I feel 100%. Mm-hmm. All right. And I still stand in the exact same place and stare in the exact same way. He's just okay. awake now. We're actually going to sleep. I go back to the other room. Okay. Um, I keep an open ear for strange sounds. Okay, make perception check. <laughs> Wowza. Um, whatever it is, even if it's an elephant stomping on my face, I'm not sure what it is. Well, it's an elephant stomping on your face. No. Um, y- you're there. <laughs> Frank doesn't have ears. That's <laughs> it's okay. Um, Mateo seems to be asleep. Um, or back to being passed out. Gotcha. Um, but. It eventually comes to the end of your watch. Who would you like to relieve you? Zarya. Okay. Okay. So you head to the back room to get Zara. Sorry. Shake her. Uh, watch after the gremlin. <laughs> okay. The Frenchie fuck the gremlin. Okay. Be the big spoon. She needs it. Okay. Fuck no. I'm not a spoon. Shh. I'm a man, not a spoon. Shh. I'm a man, not a spoon. And I go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Zara, you are in the room. Teo's still. Uh, I'm not, not in the room. Does he spoon yeah. me? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, Frank does not spoon. He's a, he's a man, not a spoon. But he's in the room with her? <laughs> no, he's out of the room as I, as I have put him outside of the room. Okay, okay. Yeah. And he's staring at Mateo. You see Mateo, uh, lots of dried blood all over his outfit, mainly his thighs and collarbone. He looks horrid, Shit. very pale. Very different than when you walked to sleep. Oh, that was not tickling. <laughs> <laughs> that also might be the name of this episode. <laughs> um, can I make just like a medicine check and see where he's at in life? Yeah, medicine check. Not one. Oh wow. my gosh. He's okay. great. Okay. He also might be dead. <laughs> You're not really sure. I, I, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I guess. He might be dead. You see his chest. Okay, okay, okay. Pull I up see his some breath, breath. And you're like, okay, it might be really not rough. dead. Okay. That um, was more just a joke. I just want to sit at the um, the bench nearest to the main door and just like draw pictures of storms in my journal while I'm watching him. Like, just, you know, a good position to see both areas. Make perception check. Okay. That's a 15. <laughs> Zara, you um. That was so scary. No, <laughs> oh, <God>. it doesn't. <laughs> it's not scary. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. I'm sorry. I'm so okay. sleep deprived, y'all. Uh, you are just you're watching him. You look down to draw, and you just you're like, Nip. and you look up, and you see like movement, and you see that some of the ropes are a little bit slack, and maybe have been slack for. Since you walked in, which you're just now noticing it, but he seems to be like working on a knot in between his two hands slowly. I knock him unconscious. Okay, you do. Enough hit points to bring him to zero. Nice, Sarah. That's, like, you know, whatever yeah, that is, right? It. Okay. You just, you just I just bring up him with the Warhammer and just go bop on the head. You do. <laughs> a little lump. More, more yeah. motherfucker. More so just blood. God, that's so scary, though. Okay, Little cool. bluebirds flying. These are the things that, like, do scare me in real life, though. Like, if yeah. I ever was in this situation and this, like, effort would to run away, I would be so pissed. Okay. <laughs> um, and I want to tighten. She almost got through it on Frank's watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> With my net. <laughs> okay, and I'm, I'm just going to tighten everything tighter, better, okay. stronger. You retight. Like bare- Beyonce. Like, he got through better. most of the ones right, on yeah. his body. The new ones that were on his feet, he hadn't gotten to cool. yet. He was working through the ones on his hands. Mm-hmm. But you retie everything back down. He's, as the blood slowly starts to, like, onto the four yeah. from his head wound. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Are watch? there any, um, like, slats in the windows? Like, I know they're boarded up, but is there any light coming through? Not yet. Okay, but are there actual, like, slats? There are little 
gaps in between some of the pieces. I just want to look through a gap. Okay. For like maybe a solid 30 seconds. Not very Any long. side of the building? Uh, The left side. So like over in sorry, here? Sorry, sorry. Like just like this front left side. Oh, sweet. Gotcha, mm-hmm. gotcha. Yeah, uh, as you look out, you can see the the main street, and you can see the Mulrose River. Okay, and everything's still dark. And the docks out there. It's still dark, but you can see the faint glimmer of the, like, change in color as the sunrise is happening. That's what I was hoping to see. It's, like, pitch black, uh, like, light blue, tiny line of yellow. Mm Mm-hmm, cool. I say a prayer to Habakkuk, and then go back to the bench. Okay. And watch. Yeah. You do. Cool. He doesn't move. Beautiful. He's out. Beautiful. But yeah, that ends your watch as the light slowly begins to come into the slits of the windows and you start to hear birds outside. God bless. Mostly like gulls. The yeah, river is large enough sea. that it Blue is. For you. It's okay. That kind of bird. You start to hear the traffic outside, carts moving, people talking and whatnot. It is now the next day. Hello there, friends. Jonah here once again to say thank you for listening to The Quest Company. We talked about this at length already, so I'll keep it short, but this week's episode is indeed brought to you by our good friends, Castor and Pollux. Quest Company listeners can, in fact, get 15% off of your entire order of dice, jewelry, and other accessories by using the code THEQUESTCO. If you're a fan of the Quest Company, you get a kick out of our shenanigans and have fun listening to the stories we tell, please head over to our show page on the Apple Podcast app or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave us a rating and review. It is incredibly easy, it'll only take you a minute, and that small act of kindness from you is a huge help to us as we keep spreading the word about the show and get new people listening. Seriously, pause the episode, go type your feelings, and then hop right back in. We read everything. Every single review that comes in and we get all excited whenever we see a new one. And if you drop by and leave us a review, we'll give you a shout out here on the podcast. We had some lovely fan art come to us this week. Longtime listener and Sketcher Supreme Elena at CloverBuds.ig on Instagram drew Zara with her new clothes and the buzz cut she almost got. And she looks so good. Uh, OG listener and hashtag true fan Jackie at Basil's underscore art on Instagram sent us some great sketches. Uh, Tabitha showing off the bubs and Rourke doing some Shakespeare with Frank. Uh, shout out to Tess at Tess is Mad fierce on instagram for sending us an evocative sort of abstract piece done in marker as well as choreographing to some of cash's original music also tess is brooke's sister and we love her hi tess hi riley if you haven't seen those pieces go check them out on our instagram or on the fan art page of the website where we have a gallery of all the art that people have sent us and if you have fan art of the podcast that you want to share just make sure when you post it to tag us at the quest company and use hashtag the quest company so that we can see it thank you guys so much for the art that you create it makes us feel all warm and tingly that we can inspire such amazing creativity speaking of creativity i'd like to thank mr joseph cash for the fabulous music he composes for us here at the quest company if you want to listen to more of joe's music you can hear all the songs from the podcast on soundcloud.com slash the quest company and you can listen to more of joe's personal work at soundcloud.com slash joseph john cash If you'd like to contact us, you could do so directly through our Connect page on questcompanypodcast.com, or you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, etc., at The Quest Company. We love talking with you all, and we're always happy to hear your thoughts on the show and see your reactions to the art that we get to feature, and we love to chat with you. If you do follow us on social media, you may have seen that we recorded a new side quest last weekend. Joseph, Joseph, and I got together with our guests, Delaney Keith and Joel Ruiz. Yes, that's right. I am referring to Joel, the GM of Critical Bits, which is one of our favorite podcasts. We tried out Dungeon World and played a one-off set in Terry Pratchett's Discworld universe, and it got super weird, and we had a ton of fun. We will be releasing that bi-weekly as a five-episode arc called... Portents, and we should be putting out the first episode next week. So, if you enjoy Powered by the Apocalypse games, Terry Pratchett novels, absurd humor, and great guests who hop right on the goof train with us, be sure to give that a listen. That's all for me, so let's get back to the action. 
Thank you for listening to The Quest Company. You all have the benefit of a long rest. There we go. Ooh, we there did it, team. What a night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> You're telling me. Yeah, seriously. Mateo's had a day. Wowza. Things changed quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you guys want to do? I want to find Frank. And I, I go and I go to the So you wake up bright and early yeah. feeling good. It's like Christmas. It is. <laughs> And I walk do, outside. Do, do, do. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Another name for this episode. Oh, boy. And I walk outside of the room and I go, would I see him like when I walked out? Yes. Okay. <gasps> I go. You see Frank, Frank and you can see Mateo. Frank. What do you want? I got. Did, did you heal him already? Yes, I healed the fool. I healed the fool. <laughs> I pooped there the is pool. I healed the fool. a nice pool of fresh blood underneath a chair. Um, now that I know that I they're both up, that. can I look for, like, any breakfast foods around here? Certainly. Make an investigation check. Okay. There's a pool of blood. Zaria, did you do this? What? The blood. As I'm looking for breakfast food. What do I add? Uh, investigation. I, like, stumble Thunder out and start helping Zara 16. on the food front. Okay. 16 is plenty fine. You remember some of the crates from the back room. Cool. And you can go back there. There yeah. might be more in the cellar, but there's no, certainly enough in, in this. Right cool. And I just bring out some food for something for us to. What are you bringing out? Um, can I get some like granola? Sure. Ooh. Granola esque. Granola and like a melon. And a melon. And I just start to cut up the melon. Yeah, and we get a bowl of granola out. <laughs> hey Frank, <coughs> I don't want it to be lavish. We've had brunch issues before. So. <laughs> True. Zarin, Everyone has brunch PTSD. Is there any sort of stove thing? Uh, actually cooking things in this establishment? or is it... This is more of like drinking. It has like items that can be served. Like granola and melon, right? Mm-hmm. Melon. Some pretzels. <laughs> Some pretzels. <laughs> Certainly. There's probably breads. If yeah. we want to expand the, the business into a kitchen, it will take another. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I did that. No. Oh. Was he? What? Why? He was uh, undoing his ropes. We got oh. a tricky little bugger on our hands, guys. Good job. Yeah. So, good How do you, job, I didn't see that. I stared oh, right thanks. at his face for about three hours. Seven you know, hours. he was so tricky. Did not want to talk to me about anything, so I didn't really gather anything. Well, you know, guys. Uh, um, I just well, was good. It's hot and ready. Can I roll to see if uh, Tabitha's telling me the truth there? Make an insight check. Uh, oh. Uh, like 17. Tabitha, you can make a deception check if you'd like. Come on, grape escape. Oh, Down the crotch. In the crotch. Oh, my. Oh. oh. Because it hit the 13. Um, oh, God. You still had 10 to that roll. Oh, my God. Oh my God. What'd you roll? 17. 17. Yeah. You can tell there is not full truth there, especially looking at how much damage she did. It's likely that something should have come out of this man. What, what you do with that is up to you. Hey, Frank. Actually, can I? I have to show you my stuff. What did you get out of him? I didn't get anything. You can you, you I I can tell you're like you're like twisting the truth a little. And he's I mean, torture he's torture soul. Yeah, he I must mean, have gotten something out I of it. I thought that like the Florentines killed his family. Well we fucking we knew that. Yeah, and that they're powerful because they have money. Well yeah, that makes sense. Um money is power. That he kind of he wants to live and give us money instead of us giving him to Florentine. Give, give us money. How much money? He was talking about that, but he didn't want to talk to me because I want to release him from his chains. How much money? What kind of money? I know he didn't really say. God damn it! But damn if you, that. I do have to show you this thing that I found. I was really excited to show okay, you. Show, 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 okay, show, come show, here. Show, 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 I pull Frank into the room. What is this? Okay, you both go into the room. What are you showing me? This is a, what are you doing? Okay, remember that talk about being evil? No. Remember how it? Okay. It's okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Frank might. I don't. No, sorry. It's so great. It's no, fine. It's it. just you and I both have understand that sometimes you got to do a little bit of bad to get to what you need, right? Absolutely. So I got you a gift. A gift. A gift. 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 What kind of gift? So he hid his family's jewels in the house. But only he knows where it is. Do I trust that? Absolutely oh, not. Oh, oh yeah? But yeah, but I also know that... I like Jules. I mean, you saw what I did last night, so I could just I like do it again until I told us when Frank and Zara leave. Jules. What was that? I was thinking about Jules. What yeah, I know. I know. 
So I figured we could either get out of him or get him to take us to the jewels while they were at the Florentines. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. And then, you know, I told him that we, he has deeds that, for the Bush district that we could get to Solomon Asher. But here's why, the thing. Okay. Give him to, why, why, um, why would we give him to Solomon, uh, Cause I, Asher? cause we told him we would, remember? What? Didn't we? You did. Yeah, we. I told him when we give him the deeds to the bus. Well, I don't know. He you, just you, wants you, it. You told him that you would like get him some property. Get him in with Florentine and maybe get in the bus. Yeah, I just I'm a friend helping a friend. And this is the bluster. No, no, this isn't the bluster. No, the this Florentine. is you are in the pearls. pearls. We're in yeah. the pearls still. So no, the, the deeds he has. The um, Vincentis are the blush. Correct. Okay. Yeah. The deeds he has are for the blush. For the blush. Oh. Yeah. Shit. So then here's the thing. Here. Well, yeah, we gotta get that shit to Solomon. Yeah. So then oh, we gotta get that uh, the black powder shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, yeah. basically, we're gonna give him to the Florentines, and they're gonna kill him. And honestly, I can't wait to watch. But at the same time, yeah, that voice is kind of fucking. I know. <laughs> I know. Did like, you see I, what I, I did? I didn't even his... hear him this morning. I just kind of felt it. Yeah. Like, did in you my see head. my tea? Your tea? Yeah. Uh, I practiced did that. Did I see the tea? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw your tea. Yeah, I practice that on a lot of people, and it usually yeah, cuts through the so. muscle right there, and it snaps back. No, and it's I, a lot I know. Of it, it was some good work, Tabitha. Yeah, but hey, it, Frank, it was what, pretty I, good what work. I thought is, when we get to the Vincentis, you can torture him, and then you can bring him back, and I'll, I won't say a word. Okay, let me let me think about it. But anyway, here's the thing. Yes, I kind of told him if he gave us this stuff, we'd make sure he wouldn't die. That's not going to happen, and it was a lie, obviously. But don't say anything. To work, okay, or okay. Zara, because they're going to tell us no. Okay. So I didn't hear anything. No, I just I'm, I'm I've been just thinking about jewels. And just promise up, me, so. if there are two smaller <clears throat> jewels, you will give them to Zara and work. Uh yeah, I'll I tell so I found them in the river or something. Okay. Go. Do you, do you want a hug? Still waking up. So oh. sorry, still waking it's up. Okay. My head's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> and I, I walk out of the room. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Now, Man. Thank you for looking at my books that I found. I love books. Yeah. Good, good books. <laughs> insight. I'm not going to roll insight. I'm just going to say that Rourke assumes that that was bullshit. <laughs> you can certainly do that. Uh, you also can roll insight. I, I will. 18. Oh. Tabitha, make deception at disadvantage. Oh, no. <laughs> 13. Did- I don't know that you've ever seen Tabitha carrying a book cool. ever. Just noted, that's all. Yeah. So, what's the what's the game plan? I love reading. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> we can, uh, has everybody eaten their, have you had your granola? And I mean, granola? I know it's honeydew. I'm sorry, guys. There's nothing I can no, do about it. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather it's, die than eat honeydew. I know, it's a little good. Well, you're in luck. Yeah, I know. It's all right, yeah. this is more food than I was ever given. It's great. Okay. I eat it and then I spit it. Turn it, it out. Canon, you don't like honeydew. Yeah. <laughs> but I do. Have I made it? Not me, I, I can just show you the honeydew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like the shittiest. May I roll deception? Do I really love it for her? <laughs> roll deception. <laughs> I'll just take whatever fruit I can get. Fucking scurvy. Grape escape! 13. 15 it's great. Off your it's tower. great. It's great. Hashtag Questco for 50% of your diary. <laughs> what was it? Uh, 13. Sure. <laughs> it's good it. grapefruit. No, it's honeydew. honeydew. I meant honeydew. Sorry. <laughs> it's amazing, though. I love it. Thank you. Have you ever had honeydew before? No. I'm low functioning right oh, now. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait, I think Probably. I had some at um, the brunch with uh, our Gale. dear friend. Gay. Yeah. Hmm? Gay. With who? <laughs> Gay land? <laughs> Glenn. Wow. There we go. There it is. There it, is. it was a long night, you guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, speaking of it, I see your work. Did you get any um, information from him? No. Yeah, because we're about to ask him some questions, so if we don't have to repeat ourselves, he's that still, might be good. He's still uh, unconscious, correct? Yeah. Okay, I great. mean, that's all I want. No, he sure. really didn't tell me anything. He's currently at zero hit points. Okay, well, what do we want to do in this situation? Well, we can... I do have a thought. Mm. Please. Us, I don't think we should be walking him out during daylight. I know that sounds very obvious. Oh, but, no, no, no. no. no and I also yeah. think this is a great meetup spot that if we were to get someone in the um, Florentine family to come here. Yeah. To me, yeah. I mean, there's two, you know, essentially two ways to get in and out. It's easy to guard. 
it's already been noted as somewhere that people are not coming in and out of right now. Safe yeah. spot. Yeah. yeah it, safe it's a good spot. safe spot. So if we want to just keep him here and, um, you know, our sanity might go down, but that's already happened before and yeah. we can make it. <laughs> What's sanity? <Yeah. laughs> Sarah, maybe I, you should talk to him. <laughs> well, if he didn't talk to you, I don't think he's well, going to talk to me. Well, you have zone of uh, booth. It's truth. No, yeah, but I don't I'm think so we so need to resort. Zone of John Sorry. Mark's booth? I'm still like an Right, right, Frank? We, I don't think we need to resort to that, mm-hmm. right? Well, we want to make sure he's not bullshitting us just for his life, don't we? Yeah, yeah but yeah. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I want to find out where the fucker's house is so that we can see if we can find any of the family shit so we can recoup our business expenses. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with one of you. <laughs> Wait, can you say what you just said again? <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm, I'm a bit groggy from the sleep I had. I just had some crazy dreams. <laughs> what were you dreaming about? Oh, I like, uh... Sapphires. A lot of water. <laughs> We're near the ocean, or the, yeah. the river, so, you know. Say what you said, Sarah didn't hear you. Oh, yeah, no, I was, saying, I was saying that we can uh, ask him about, um, like, where his family house is, like, where we can get stuff, <laughs> basically. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe we could take him there and to- then just wait if we want the Florentines to come to us, you know, right, right Frank? Oh, so hmm? take him to this family's house? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like that would be more high, higher risk. Yeah, they're, probably, cause they're probably watching out at his house right now, don't you yeah. think? Taking him yeah. anywhere from here would I mean, I could smart. I could sneak him. It wouldn't be hard for me well, to sneak dur- him. During the broad daylight, though, I th- we've got a good spot here. And honestly, guys, risk. like, yeah. I don't know if we need a deed or something, but... It's not a bad spot. There's probably a deed for this place. I'm sorry, somewhere. did you say it's not a bad spot? It's not. This is not, yeah. I mean, like. I like this place. I've never had property before. Do you? Do you but, like, like nobody it? owns it now. Yeah. We kind of killed the owner, so. No, we we didn't. Harv. We did. Harv? Harv is Harv was the way dead. He is in. Well, Rourke started dead. it, so. It doesn't matter who started it. He's dead now, and um, we own it. We can say we own it, at least. Uh, we can rename it the Frank. I can see it. Speaking of renaming, that was a very good point. We have never actually considered having a group thing. Like oh, Cole said. Oh, yeah, I've never considered having a group leader. Can we all decide that that's pretty bogus? Yeah, no, that's bullshit. If we need uh, to, yeah. to, like, present one of us, that's fine. But, like, that was weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's on, that's that on a situational basis, stupid. though. He, he we don't have, yeah. like, a default. He was scared yeah. the piss out of me. Yeah, no, yeah, I, so, that... I, so yeah, that to be you kind of yeah. took the moment. Yeah. I, was, I appreciate it, but also I just kind of say <laughs> you that didn't like there. it at all. Yeah, yeah it was really yeah. like we're all great. But you're thinking like a group name. <laughs> I don't know if people asked. Last night was the first time anybody to ask. What but for, like I, yeah. t-shirts and merch? Are we a group? I don't know. Maybe. I, I mean, we've been group. going around for some time now. I don't know. Just in case somebody asks. But when like you meet people, do <laughs> they should, say hi? I'm so and so, and I'm in this group. What was the name of the Oh, I mean, group? like, well, they were the, the red fucking house. red hounds, and that was pretty badass, and yeah. I don't know, it got me thinking, like, a that badass name. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, we could be the red hounds, too. Yeah, no, we no, just we could mess like, them like, up, also divert, the divert, yeah, divert. Yeah, great plan. But also, it's kind of a good plan, because it's just like... <laughs> It could just screw with them, like their brains. Oh, and when we go to the Florentine family, we'll say, hey, we're in the Red Hounds, and they'll let us in. Only thing is, <laughs> we don't know their whole reputation. That's true. But we can find out more about them, and if we ever have cause to uh, fuck them over, you guys know what that uh, Cole fella looks like pretty well. You talk to him long enough, I'm sure you could whip yeah, up a little we're disguise. Yeah, all best friends with Cole. Okay. Sorry, oh, sorry. It's like coleslaw. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Well, it's like coleslaw. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, I think this is a great safe house. I'm yeah. saying, all I'm saying is I'm brainstorming. There's, there's, brainstorming. there's like three or four more melons in there too, too, so we're set for a couple more days. <gasps> That's mm. not a full meal. That's just melons. Well, there's also stuff down in the cellar, but the okay. but it's a horror house down there. <laughs> um, yeah, there's food down in the cellar. Harv is edible. <laughs> <laughs> ew, ew, At this ew. point, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couple more days. I don't. Think, I don't think we've resorted to that yet, Frank. Yet, yet, Tabitha. You never know what'll happen. I don't need to eat, but I'll. You guys, you know. This is gonna. You guys sound... are pretty depraved, so. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sora. This episode took a turn. <laughs> um, this is gonna sound super cheesy, but also, 
My other big thought, okay, so my big thought was, you know, Leave cover of night. Right. And then this kind of being the safe house. Yeah. Like number, that. Number three, secret knock. I, I, I won't remember that. Do it again? Do it again? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's, I don't think anybody's ever done something like that I before. Don't think I think so either. Pretty no, I just think we need to, too. you know, if we're coming in and out, we got to make sure that it's us. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Or we could okay, say, okay. Margo, you. Maybe. Oh, then, Margo's an ugly bitch. That's also very Yeah, good. and then yeah. like, if we say, who is it? You say, um, Joe sent us or something. Who's Joe? Who's Joe? I don't know. <laughs> Just so human. So it's a normal name. It's a lot of people named Joe. A lot of people. Oh my god! I was thinking a musical theater reference. Yeah, pajama game. Yeah. I was yeah. with you. Yes, yes. It was, I was it, right there. With it was a romantic note to Andrew. Oh my god! Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> secret knot and Margo, you ugly bitch. Yep. Yeah. Or Margo's an ugly. bitch. Margo Margo's an, an ugly bitch. bitch. Yeah. Okay. That's, you know, just some backup security. That's not going to make Satan, like, exist, is it? Only if you say it, right? Only if I say it. All right. So, so maybe you, could you say, like... Like, Dawson sent me. Yeah, Dawson sent me. That's good. <gasps> Do you think Dawson's okay? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah I mean, he might be, like, a little kid drunk, but he's fine. I don't yeah. care. Kid drunk? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably alive. I don't know. Ah, uh, Roland's good. He's fine. Okay, so listen. What yes. do we do with Mateo? Well, we wake um, him up and question give him. Give him a little tickle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little tough tickle. You say that so... A little tough tickle. Another nickname. <laughs> <laughs> a little tough tickle. When you say that, it's intriguing and inviting to me, but I don't trust it. But maybe what Zara is? should talk to him because Zara makes everybody seem nice. That's true. But do we want to seem nice right now? No, like, not yeah. like you seem nice. Like, you just make everybody trust you and feel better about themselves and feel loving and care for it. That's all. Wow. Okay. Thanks. But, f- fuck, you don't have to. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't think I'll get very far if he didn't already answer to you before. last night with what happened. Well, on the body that I can clearly see. I mean, he said some stuff. Is he, what do you say? Is he still past the fuck out? Yeah. Um, Again, he's at zero hit points. I. <sighs> but not making death saves. Frank, I can't do it. This is why I don't like to make connections with people. Okay, yes, he said a lot of stuff last night. Well, what? what do he say? I'm so we sorry. don't have to repeat ourselves. Basically, that the Florentines were powerful because they had a lot of money. Okay. We know that. Yeah. yeah. So I asked uh, why that, you know, why his family killed their kids and he said he didn't know i still think that's a lie if you want me to i could web his toes again but i feel like you guys i'm sorry might puke but oh no i'm all about your methods i just probably wouldn't watch yeah i think he does know and i i think if we can find the root of it listen i mm, trust anton but i don't trust the florentine something just feels off and i'm never wrong about stuff i feel but something Mm -hmm. feels off very true okay what are you talking about what no i'm just considering are you saying you trust... Oh, okay. How do you feel about Solomon? I mean, I trust Solomon. Well, I Me think too. that the best okay, way to figure just, out if we can trust the Florentines them. is if we go see them. Yeah, yeah, sure. But basically, you know, he doesn't want to die. I don't know about you all. I think he's a dick. Oh, I... Well, yeah. He's the god like, if, awful. If it wasn't going to be a out. huge waste of our fucking time, I would have let you murder him already. Yeah, yeah. so... Basically, you know, I webbed his toes, like cut his thighs, I took out his knees, I went under his toenails, I well, went why, in his hands. Why don't we get a little bit, little bit of him, a little something? That's what like I a little, said. A little, 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 little toe. Yeah, he gets send to him, choose. Send him with you two, and yeah. then you can like talk to Florentines and be like, see, but then see if they're cool. Yeah, I, I brought, then, I brought that up, Frank. Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. Um, same mind. Um, but then he said he could write a letter. Okay. Which I, you know, maybe. Yes, but I, I told I him he letter. still had... Yeah, I know, right? So, I still said he could choose whatever body part we were going to cut off. Specifically, right. with the letter, gives us an advantage with the Florentines, because then they know we have him, right? And Zara's mm-hmm. going to cut it off, because that's what we talked about. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to cut off his... This is the start letter? of your long this path towards a positive journey. Being an anti-paladin. <laughs> yeah. I was five when I cut off my first person. So I'm not five. So maybe I'm the dead. train, I missed it. I mean, might have. Okay. But it's time. It's going to be okay. 
Yeah, and then, you know, he said that his family hid some stuff at their house and only he knew where it was, but you could pull anything out of somebody's brain. So okay. we could torture him and get the... So we could, it, he said the stuff is at his house? Yeah. What kind of stuff? Where's books, his house? Books. Books? Books. Just books? Just books. What kind of books? Uh, maps and an encyclopedia and a history of Alternia and mages and witchcraft. I don't give a shit about books. Um, <laughs> so what did he actually tell you? There is what? What was that? There is some... There are what? some what? <laughs> there's jewels, okay? There's jewels that were going to be for me and Frank. No, well, for Frank, and he was going to give you some. What? And remember... In the That's room. an early born for me. I know. <laughs> and the deeds to the Bush, Bush district that okay. we could give to Solomon. And this these are in their house? Yeah, so I thought if he took us there... And where's their house? I don't know. Okay. Plus, I don't know how we'd even get in there because I was right. It's watching. It's being watched. Well, if if the house is an option for a place to take him, perhaps under cover of night after we've talked with Florentine and discussed a meeting place... Yeah, but I think it's a trap. Mm-hmm. What's a trap? Us taking him to the house. I mean, he tried to get yeah. out of his findings. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I guy. almost now wish I had taken off his jewels last night. Wait. I feel like we could ask Does he him have any rings is. or anything on him? No. Oh, okay. We could get Zara to cast Zone of Truth on him and get like try to get it out of him where the shit is in his house. Yeah. yeah. That's, it might not be a bad oh, idea that's for us to... you want me to talk to him. Yeah, that's uh, why. I understand And now. then we could get the deeds, but here's the thing. I, you know... I've been doing this for a while, and sometimes you got to make promises you're actually not going to keep, and you're just going to stab right. people in the back. Well, yeah, that's part of the gig. Yeah, so I told I him I just that. get super self-conscious and make sure that he's not awake yet. Make perception check. Oh, good call. Wow. That's a oh. <clears throat> Seven. He's still unconscious. Okay. So anyway, so I think we should don't the truth him. <laughs> That was internal. That was my gut syringing in my body. Oh my god, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was really weird. We just yeah. got brought to a standstill over that. that was my colon is like. <laughs> Your colon is saying something. It's seen some shit. Like it's lifting weights. Yeah. Do you have wow. poop? No. Oh, I might in like a. About another three minutes. I, yeah. I stand with Joe's colon. Oh my god. I stand Joe's colon. I do. Um, but anyway. I, I'm I'm all for finding out where these things are that he has tucked away, where the fuck ever, before we yeah. actually take him anywhere or go do whatever, so that we get a little bit of assurance on our end. Yeah. So I didn't tell you guys. I I was gonna get Frank to get you them as a surprise. That's kind. Yeah. But you know, Ooh, after surprised. what we've all been through right now. That stuff really doesn't matter to me right now. If that helps you to relieve any of that pressure. Yeah. But anyway, I told him that we wouldn't give him, we were going to give him the Florentines and then he could get, be in prison. So if something happened and we did find out we didn't trust them and they tried to kill us, he could maybe help us on the inside. Obviously not. So. And I just say, right. And I wink with right. like my eye that's turned away from Mateo. I'm like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, that's, uh. That's uh um, all right. Should I give him some melon? I'm gonna wake him up. Crack open that honeydew. Mm-hmm. Melon. And I open up his mouth for I'm some melon. Start tickling. You start choking him. T- tickling. He's at zero hit points. He is unconscious. Oh. He won't wake up until he finishes a long rest in several hours. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Unless I'll heal him. Should we heal him or just let him sleep? But melon is not a cure. I'm fine with waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I don't want to wait. Any he, he throws. <laughs> him. Okay. Just, just some low key. That's uh <laughs> six. Six. Oh, yep. oh no. The minimum. Hey, it's enough. Uh, it's like not- putting uh, like putting a salt stick under somebody's nose that is uh, or not a salt ammonia stick under somebody's nose that has been kicked knocked out. He's just. <laughs> Awake. Awake. Like sticking in adrenaline. And then I just, I just, I'm just like, Awake. It's okay. And you're like looking around at his wounds and his bindings. Good morning. It's okay. Your life isn't that valuable. Good morning. <laughs> the sun's out. Good morning. You're, you're scaring me now. And, <laughs> now, you're scaring me now. <laughs> and now there's some green melon. I'm munching on granola at the bar, Ooh. just watching now. 
I'm sitting with Ferrari. What yeah, check I'm am I making? You some granola. I take <laughs> An intimidation it. check. It's on a charisma. <laughs> That's a sixteen. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> as you slowly sing with. Melon. Okay, it looks like you're not ready for this. I'm just gonna no, sit ready. here he's ready. He's ready. and <laughs> wait, wait. When you're ready, when you're ready, and I'm eating my melon. I take the <laughs> egg off of him. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking that off oh, my God, face. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, just like, like, see, I was just one hoping to maybe hot. calm him down before we'd start talking yeah. again. Yeah. You know, Every time I he heard, says can words. We just, okay, here we go. Whoever has the melon has talking rights, okay? Mm-hmm. I can, okay, little French man? Mm-hmm. So when we ungag you, just stay calm. Just it's just anything. like just, a quiet time. Sorry, I can make him stop talking. If you want me no, to. No. But it's all you. you you've got it. Let's leave we'll this shot. I'll let you know. Let's let's okay, okay. Speed. As he sees Tabitha, it's like an up. <laughs> all right, see, you can't get the melon yet. Mm, just wait. Frank, <laughs> yeah, I know. Frank, <laughs> Frank quietly casts Charm Person on him. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. No, I imagine I she blew a kiss out of him. Yeah, uh, yeah he makes a with... wisdom save throw, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He seems to relax around Frank. Just like a... Mm. It's gonna, be, it's, gonna it's gonna be okay. That's good, guys. It's gonna okay. be okay. Sorry, see, you got it. Think about sheep. Sheep. Mm-hmm. Rogers a sheep in a field. <laughs> Just mm-hmm. eating grass. Mm-hmm. 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 You never need to speak, mm-hmm. <laughs> except for when I say you can speak. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, that's good enough. I take off the gag and I cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> okay, he makes a save, correct? Yeah. Uh, what is your spell save? How wide is that cone? Like, are we all in it? Uh, I believe, is it a 15 foot sphere? Or um, it's, it's, My spell save is 16. It's a 16, and what's the radius on it? Oh, 60 feet. Yeah. 60? Yeah. Well, no, that's how far out you can oh, do oh, it. Oh, what is the, the... It is a 15 foot radius sphere. So with him at the center, one, two, three. I'm in it, yeah. Most everybody would be in it at this cool. point because you're at the bar, correct? With, With Rourke? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Boom. Is... Most everybody is in this radius. So I need oh. everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom? <laughs> I believe so. Uh... It is a wisdom save, correct? Ooh, uh, yeah. thank God. Okay. Five. Seventeen. Twenty. All right. Zara, you are aware that the only person that this spell takes effect on is Frank. <laughs> mm. Hi. You can talk now. I'm sorry. Do you want some melon here? And I, I offer the fruit on a fork to him. Wait, it didn't work? No on fruit. No, just no, like... It did not. Wait, it didn't work, didn't work on It him? did not work on Okay. Him. But he's still charmed by you. I'm allowed to hold the honeydew? No, no, no. I, I thought I, I was not allowed exercise. to speak without the honeydew. I know, so I'm like offering it to you now. Like on a fork? Just take it. Eat it! Open your Is mouth. it present? Open your mouth. No, look. Open your mouth. I literally need a piece and then I just Please open your mouth. Open your fucking mouth. It's like a tiny little like. I just don't want you to die from malnourishment. You can die from other things, but not malnourishment on my watch. Very kind of you. Thank you. You're welcome. How did you sleep last night? Oh, I did. Sabatha chuckles a little bit. (laughs) I did as well. Mm. I've been dreaming about dead bodies for the past three days. And you know what? I'm kind of getting used to the look of them. I'm very sorry for you. Is something wrong with you? Those of you that look at Zara, Uh you begin to notice blood slightly trickling from both corners of her eyes. Zara, everything's getting very blurry. Whoa, whoa. You're not blind. Just everything is kind of blurry. Zara, Zara. It's kind of been that way, and you're kind of starting to notice it n- now more as he's pointed it out. It's fucking freaky. Zara, are you okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does Frank know he's being affected by Zone of Truth? I uh, yeah, would have seen her cast it, so probably. So, okay, cool. I'm just, I'm just... Um, oh, Tabitha's really freaking out about Zara. Um, I need to do the casting of the Detect Poison. Does that make the sense? The ritual casting of it? Can I? I can't ritual cast. You can if it's a ritual. Clerics can ritual cast. Do you think we ate poison? Yeah, then? I think we did. I don't have any yet. I think it's something else. I'm you kidding. do? Yeah. Yeah. Frick. Yeah. Okay. I think I have an idea what it is. What do you? I'm not gonna tell you. Then yes, I would like to ritual cast it. I have the oh. detect. Oh, oh god. 
This is scary, guys. <laughs> Can I just make a check to see if this melon's poison? Yeah. Okay. Make a make a general uh, nature check or survival, whichever you, you drink want. Your That's a two. That's a two. You're not sure. And I just say no. And I just want to like walk. I excuse me. And I just want to walk to the like back of the room. Uh, please, and, and maybe able to help your friend if somebody. Please could. be quiet. And no, I know please. what is wrong with her. Please. What's wrong with her? She has rot eye. What is that? It's a disease you can pick up from walking in the sewers. Just a simple disease. Uh, you can, I cast uh, the like healing thing on myself. Lesser restoration. Yeah. Uh, no, no, the one there. I, I don't know. I don't know, Andrew. I don't know. Help her. I don't Help know. her. I, I, I don't. I think I'm getting Zara. Just no, no, no. Zara just starts to like. <laughs> oh my god. And then, then I just, I want to like not. I don't want him to see me, and I just want. I don't want anybody to see me, and I just want to walk into the extra room, and I want to close the door. You do. I just like look at Tabitha and, I wanna, and like, like nod. Sit, I want to sit on the back of the door. Okay. I can't get in. If she does that, right? Yeah. Can I just? Can I? Okay. Pa- hold on. And I go to the door. <laughs> I'm so scared. I go to the door and I go. <laughs> There's one more. There's... I I don't know who you are anymore. Oh, <laughs> trust this <laughs> Okay, and I open the door. <laughs> okay, you go in. Okay. I know, I just, it's okay. I was trying to intimidate a guy, and I, what, I, just, I can't even see. No, it's okay. I can't even see. Hold on. I'm giving you so many. Can I? I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> Can I benefit her? You're not blind. Everything's just very Everything fuzzy. Everything's very fuzzy. I, I can't even see. 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 You can make a medicine check. Okay. Do I know like what rod eye is? Oh my god. Now that, now that he said something about 20. it. Nat 20. Oh, nice. Natural 20. Uh, I bite her eyes and I suck the poison out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You pee out my eye. Yeah. And it's like Just like a jellyfish. Zara, you're now permanently blind because she bit your eyes. No, oh, I'm kidding. Oh, no. I was like, no, I didn't. You just said I bite her eye and suck the poison I'm, out. I was yeah. joking. And suck her eyeballs out. I was yucking. <laughs> Sabatha, now that it is not immediately happening and you can take a second to look at it, you notice this is a very similar disease to sometimes things that you can you found um, the other kids in your group in Crestport that would travel through the sewers would occasionally pick up. The other kids got this in the sewers. <laughs> it's okay. In its early stages, it's not too severe. It's it can get severe. very, very bad. It can get really, really bad. Oh my god, I can't really fix really, it. I'm bleeding you out of my cannot head. fix it. Oh. I can't fix it. Wait, I can't. Hold on. Actually, I lie. Frank goes to Matea. That's what that con save was. Yeah. That is what that con save was. Yeah. Um, I just feel like she really started to freak out. I know. That's right. I started yeah. to freak out. I was like, is she I felt it like spread across the table as it was like, wait, wait, what is it? The, what is happening? The imagery like really freaked me out. I know. Out. I, was like, huh. yeah, I was like, oh, shit. I just oh, imagined shit. her with like blood coming out freaked me out. Tabitha, you do know that there is a, a medicinal cure okay. for it. Okay. Um, you know there's a certain flower called eyebright. It's usually found in swamps. So it doesn't really help, but you could maybe purchase it somewhere. I got this. Hold on, hold on. And I put my hand on her face. Okay, um, uh, dear, what's his name? <laughs> Habakkuk. Habakkuk, the, hi, this is Tabitha. I'm kind of bad, but I'm really trying. Um, please take away no, Sawyer's blood. <laughs> is there anything I can actually do? I can, can you heal yourself? Oh, Okay. And I try to heal myself. Can I do the healing hands that, like, gives me five extra hit points? Or would it be cure wounds? Let me read cure wounds really quick. I'm sorry. Okay. Is it curable for her to do it, or is it wasting a spell? Could you tell me that information? Can I tell her that? I From did roll a natural know. 20, so I know everything. That's <laughs> 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 Like, does it have to be... Tabitha, with your 20, make a religion check. And I prayed. And you prayed, yeah, huh? 19. 19, okay. Some of the kids that obtained the sickness, you saw other cures other than medicinal. Usually it was going to, um... I have to be honest. Huh? I have to be honest. No, you do not. You for sure... 
that peeing on her eyes would only worsen the problem oh considering God. she got it from a sewer. Okay. But some of the kids were taken to the small temple in Crestport, and there are spells, namely lesser restoration that can cure lesser diseases. There are spells. Yeah? Do like you have what? any? Uh, spare the dying. No. Nope. Oh. It, Don't. it doesn't help. Healing no. ants. No, hold on, hold on. It doesn't help it. No, I saw one. I think it's called a lesser, um, lesser something. Well, I went to bed and I didn't learn. I didn't prepare lesser something. Lesser reservation. I did not did prepare it. that. Frank. And I walk, just hold on, just sit still and breathe. God damn it. Look Frank. what you've done, Mateo. Look what you've fucking done. Wait a second, I, wait a second. How could you help her? I just... I, I, I don't know, it's, teeth. How can you help her? I knew what the problem was. But you just said you could fix it. I didn't say I could fix it. I said I could help her. That it is not that she is bleeding from her a head trauma or poison. I was able to say this is the get problem. Now you can... Cool, thank you. I gag him again. All you have to do is take his teeth out. Come on. Did sure. you say, yep. do you know lesser, um, lesser something? Lesser restoration? Yeah. No, I'm a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. And I walk over to Terry, I pull the gag down. I take the <laughs> gag out. Ah, look, do you know spells? Yes or no? I do not know any spells, but I know what you Back on his face, put it back on his face. <laughs> take it off. Where, ah. where, where? In the Avon district, ah. it's the district of all the temples. You could find uh, a priest and have it pay for it. How much? It'd probably be like uh, 60 gold. Okay. Is it worth it? Mm. Well, I'll, we're a little I'll short right now. I'm, I'm still in the other room. Hold so on. Here and I go, to Zara. I go to Zara. Okay, how much money do you have? 10 gold. Okay, Ten hold on. Work, how much money do you have? I have 24 left after our little purchase. Okay. How Frank? many how many days has she exhibited the symptoms? You are gagged, sir. <laughs> Did we re gag him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, I didn't hear it. He says, hum, 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 Right, but uh, then she has time. Oh. You can make money or whatever you need to do. Just then don't let it proceed for a week. More than five days, that's when it gets uh, hard to cure. Okay. In the other room. In the other when were you in the sewer? They were in... Wait, you, we don't, you don't need to know that. I gag him. <laughs> 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 I hear with my ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. we'll, just, we'll just make it part of running air. What, is, there, to, is there a medicine thing that no, we can go get? I go, no, but... There's not medicine? I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember. What? I just told you there was medicine. Yeah, there's medicine. <laughs> yeah, that can only I be found you. in swamps. I but forgot. It's, it can be bought it's in markets. Yeah, I, there's a plant I could go get called Eyebright. Well, what's it called? Yeah, it's Eyebright? Yeah, but it's in a swamp. There's not a swamp well, we near here. We can see if there's like an herbalist oh, yeah, market, or something. Yeah. yeah, we can go somewhere. Look, we just I, we just got to get Zara to calm down. And I, I'm trying. You can calm her down. I can go get the stuff. Andrew. I think Zara's going down the cellar to try to get out. Okay. When I see her? You oh, no, you're in the room and I'm talking when I hear it? Or, like, she's just going? She's has to move the very large box that you put on the cellar door the night before. But uh, are you trying to be stealthy or are you just trying to get the hell out? I don't think I'm being, like, loud about it, but I'm not being stealthy. I don't want to roll for it. That's okay. I mean... You move the box and open the door. Okay. Looking down, there's a splattered skull and partly starting to Fester. dry mm-hmm. man that you talked to at the bar the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys hear the box slide and you're going down the ladder. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Go fucking get her. Zara, and I'm going in. And we're just dashing to get her. Yeah. You are faster because you can dash on bonus actions. Uh, no, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. 
Oh, Zara, as that? you're getting out of the, like, trying to open the cellar, Tabitha catches up with you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm what? Just, I feel bad. I'm taking the team down. You guys you're... have a plan. Go no. be tough, and I'm going to go fix my eyeballs. No. I can't be blind again, you... Tabitha. I can't be I blind know. again. Okay, okay. Just, just, I'm also, I'm really sorry about Harv. I've already seen it. I know. I tried to heal him last night. I see dead bodies all the time, and now my eyeballs bleed. It's who I am. Now that's the title. <laughs> and that's where we'll stop. <laughs>